I think some of my favorite times in life is when I have absolutely no idea what's happening, what things look like, what's gonna happen, where I'm gonna go. It's like you fall into this place of where it really looks like complete trust in the Lord. So many times we get caught up and wrapped up and we can sing songs all day long about no matter what it looks like, no matter where you take me, uh, no matter the journey, even through the deepest waters, like we can sing these songs, but when it comes to practically walking it out, it looks so much different. It's really where the rubber meets the road. And I just want to speak into whoever's watching this, that when you're singing those songs, I believe that our heart's intent is with truth to the reality of what we're singing. But when the Lord really brings us to those places, are we able to really walk it out in faith? Are we really able to trust Him? Even in the most scary situations that we cannot understand, where everything looks like it's turned upside down and inside out and everything's falling apart, and the Lord's saying, I've got you. I have always got you. I will always have you. And the Lord's just saying right now, like these are the moments where our relationship with Him is so solidified and fortified with him where our feet are firmly planted in the Lord it's like after the storm after the shaking after the winds after the waves have come and crashed everything else fades away and we're still planted on him and I just believe that the Lord's just showing in this moment that there's things that you feel like you're going through and you feel like you have lost control and the Lord said good good because when you lose control he has full control and I don't mean like a lot of people are like, God's in control of everything, so it doesn't matter. No, I'm talking about where our hearts say, Lord, you can have it all. In the midst of the good and the bad, on the mountaintop, in the valley, it does not matter, Lord. I trust you above all else. I choose you above all else. Everything inside of me says, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, whatever you want, have your way. And in these seasons and in these times is where the real intimacy with the Lord is created. Where then we get to birth out songs and books and poems and these blogs and everything. Anything creative comes from that place of fully understanding who he is. Because until you know fully who he is, until you have been through the fire, until you've walked through those deep waters, you don't fully grasp who he is. You can sing about all these good things, but you don't know him. You don't know him in these trials and these tribulations. So if you're walking through a trial or a tribulation, seriously, take joy because the Lord is gonna be glorified through it all. He is going to receive all the glory and the things that are gonna come out of you, that oil, that brokenness that you've walked through, is going to set people free. It's gonna set a generation free. It's gonna set a region free. So I'm saying take heart wherever you are, take heart and turn your eyes to the Lord because he is faithful and he is good and he's gonna bring you through whatever it is that you're going through because he is a good father and he is faithful till the end. And I just wanna bless you with that, that turn your eyes to Jesus, look only upon him because even in this situation, even in these moments that you're going through, he is going to prove himself to you over and over again.